Okay, to get the graph of this, we're going to first graph y equals 3 sine of 4x, and then we'll take care of this plus 5 on the outside. Okay, so for this we want to first find the period. The period is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 4, which is 2 pi over 4, or pi over 2. Next we want to find the amplitude. The amplitude is the absolute value of the coefficient of sine, which is 3. The absolute value of 3 is just 3. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark off one full length of the period. The period is pi over 2. And then we're going to take the interval from 0 to pi over 2, that one cycle, and we're going to divide it into four pieces. Okay, this piece right here, this x, this x coordinate, is the midpoint between 0 and pi over 2, and that's pi over 4. This x coordinate is the midpoint between 0 and pi over 4, and that's pi over 8. Finally, this is the midpoint between pi over 4 and pi over 2, that's 3 pi over 8. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up the value of 3, that's going to be the highest point, and down 3 units, the lowest point. Okay, the graph of 3 sine of 4x has its key points at the beginning, 1 fourth, half, 3 fourths, and the full length of the cycle. Okay, so the key points happen at intervals of 1 fourth of the cycle. It starts off at x equals 0 in which case y is equal to 0. Then 1 fourth of the way across, it's at its highest point. Then it's back at 0. Then it's down at its lowest point. Then it goes back to 0. So that completes one full cycle of y equals 3 sine of 4x. Okay, now let's take care of this plus 5. And the effect of the plus 5 on the outside means that we're going to take this graph of 3 sine of 4x and shift everything up 5 units. Okay, since we're only shifting up in the y direction, our x-coordinates are all going to remain the same. Oops, that was pi over 8. Okay, this y-coordinate of 0 gets shifted up 5 units. So instead of being at 0, it goes up to 5. This y-coordinate of 3 gets shifted up 5 units. That means we add 5 to the y-coordinate of 3. It's going to get us to 8. This y-coordinate of 0 goes to 5. So we're back here. Then this y-coordinate of negative 3, we add 5 to negative 3, and we get to 2. And then we're going to be back at 0 plus 5, so 5. Okay, so at the beginning of the period, we're at 5, because we're shifting up 5 units. One fourth of the way, we take this y-coordinate of 3 and shift it up 5 units. It gets us up here. Then we're back for, because of our original y-coordinate of 0, we're back to 5. Then we're down to 2. Then we're back at 5. Okay, so again, what we just did to get all of these y-coordinates is we took all of these y-coordinates 
and added five to them. Okay, so this right here is the graph of y equals three sine of four x plus five. Okay, so that plus five gives us our midline of y equals five. So our graph here is essentially centered on that line y equals five. 